What's up, y'all? Welcome to another video. Y'all know what time it is. We still on Haitian's drift car, but something always, always seems to get in the way uh, of Haitian drift car. But we're making some good progress on it right now. I do have something that's gonna get in the way. I'm not gonna really let it get in the way. I'm just gonna spend, uh, split my time that I'm gonna spend on his car and spend on the other thing. But let me update y'all. All right, so this car is still in full effect. We got uh, a panel, you know, the power steering's there. Um, we're gonna be wiring this up here in the next few days to get it going. Um, we got the water pump mounted. We got some more bulkhead fittings on the firewall. We got the radiator and fan set up, bolted in for the last time, hopefully. The fuel cell. Yeah, we just got a big old party going on. I um. I'm missing 116 AM uh, bung, so I Amazon that. That'll be in like a day, maybe tomorrow or something. Um, but yeah, we're making good progress. Uh, I can't complain. The engine's still on the car because I'm just trying to do as much fab as I can to get it done. I mean, to get it, you know, as far as possible before I put the engine in there. I'll probably wire it, wire it up with the spare engine first before we put in his build engine over there and get it fired up. But so far so good. Oh yeah, look, we got a we got a kill switch install. Parts everywhere. Seats installed finally and permanently. Um, you know the dash bar, the steering wheel. I'm mean, making good progress. The uh both wheel words the clutch and the brake is in there. I tested out the electronic power steering today. That seems to be working good. I really kinda like that. Hopefully I can do that to my car. In time, uh, we do have uh, a little bit of sad news, but not so sad news. Life happens. Um, Haitian might not be going to round one, so his spot might be available for sale because he had some other plans that kind of got in the way. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I guess I can just update y'all how that goes. But plan is still to act like his car is going 100%. And we're going to get it finished. So hopefully by the end of the week, the plan is to have the built engine in there, um, be finished with wiring, and I won't say fire it up, because we're still waiting on some load of stuff, but if I can have it wired up, and you know, start making a base map, that sort of thing. I won't say running, I won't say running, it's possible, but I won't say running, but yeah, looking real good, your boy's gonna be on, you know, Altec, because that's what we like around here, and hopefully we'll have that done done check out these fans oh dude. look at this thing mm. Thing's gonna be cool and we don't have winners yet we're waiting on a winner still anybody can get us winners faster hit me up okay so now for what's gonna actually get in the way it's not really gonna get in the way this just means I got to work a little bit harder to get it all done um, so uh, tonight we decided that Pro-Am's coming up this weekend, and it's only 400 bucks, so my car's still together. It just needs a subframe, so I think I'm going to be running Pro-Am this weekend at OSW with US Drift Circuit. I just need a couple things. I need a seat, I need to register, and I need a fire suppression system, which I think I can knock out before this weekend. Uh, a couple late nights will make that happen. And tires. I need tires, so... We'll figure out the whole tire ordeal, but we'll get it done. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and bring my comp car in here and kind of just give it a quick look over and see what I need. Gladly, Sean works at LZ Compound for Adam. So with HQ, so that means I'm gonna get a seat tonight and I'm gonna get, what else needs to bring? Fire suppression system. So the only thing I really have to figure out now is just getting a, uh, tires so let's get started on my car we'll go from there i'll be back on haitian car tomorrow it's my time now well i guess i should give you guys more a little bit more detail for you guys who don't know um pro-am is where you can get your pro 2 license um uh you know by competing against a couple other people so each event you know they're gonna have a couple rounds and if you win i think they give out three licenses so we might as well just go, you know, give it a shot. Why not? It's so close. It's in Florida. 
we gonna go try it out. So, RB power, baby. All right, so it took some time, but it made it inside. The uh, subframe's still broken. Still got good tires on it. I'm about to take it to the next beating. We're gonna get it right. That guy over there. The night hustle. Yeah. Oh, the tail lights. Ah. Y'all yeah, know we can't have no video if Haitian ain't revving the go-kart or doing something crazy with this damn golf cart. Go ahead, bro. Show him what's up. Just this is my whole weld shit, bro. This is my whole fucking weld shit. There's no, there's no, he welded that, bro. That's not me. <laughs> Yo, the exhaust just broke, Nick. Like for real. I thought I penetrated, bro. Bro, no way. I'm mad. The exhaust literally just broke. Like, damn. Oh my god. Hey, I saw it jumping. I was like, damn. Okay, it's loose. That shit's broke. Damn, bro, that's why I don't weld shit, bro. Shit on you, me working like that. Like. Practice makes perfect. All right, since test day, we haven't got on this thing to see what's wrong. And wow, this is this is pretty serious. It's pretty, pretty serious. We're gonna have to get this fixed ASAP. Damn. Adam, I blame you, bro. The jumps took me out. I got that adjustable rack now, man. Ah, shit. Damn. Oh, easy fix, though. We'll just take the one out of his car. Put in this car. And then we good. No big deal. We're ready for Saturday. Um, still need to put in a uh, fire suppression system and a halo seat. And I got a Hans, Hans device coming tomorrow. And then after that, I think we'll be good. Oh, no, I still need intrusion bars because I don't have intrusion bars in there. So we'll get some intrusion bars in there tomorrow. We'll get the fire press, suppression system set up and we'll get that new seat in. And then it'll be a party. And then I still have a dilemma. I need tires by Friday. Anybody y'all know who, who can hook me up with some previous? I really could use some of those. If not, I'm being a sucky tire. We're gonna be towed in all in. I'm trying to keep up. But yeah, we're gonna nut and bolt it, get it right. And get that stuff in, man. See y'all in a few. This guy's on the job because I'm not feeling it. Bruh, why is my subframe two pieces? Jeez. They got it out. The engine's hanging for dangling. Top frame still broken. Oh, damn, is my tranny leaking too, bro? Come on. Give me a break. Thanks. Hey, no, 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 no. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> oh, at least the rear seal ain't leaking. Everything else look good. Oh. Oh. I be saying shit about what video? Don't you worry, I'm, I'm gonna make a video so you can Go watch on. your work and you don't have to do it. Well, as progress continues, found out that uh, I need a clutch. So, well, we know I needed a clutch, but oh, I really need a clutch. So, so, George, we're gonna borrow your clutch for this weekend. And then we're gonna get you some new disc. Bro, chill out, bro. We got the homie Fat Black in the building, you know oh, what I'm saying? Shit. What up, dog? Yep. Damn. You good? Boy. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So we here. But, oh shoot, I didn't even tell you guys. Okay, so I got the new stuff for him, Walled it up really nice. It ain't gonna break again. Till uh, my boy get me that wise fab one we finna get. Um, we still got oil leak to fix. We still got the seat to put in. The Hans device came in. We right on track, but we still don't got tires. Biggest problem, we don't have tires. Huh? Oh yeah, we got any choosing bars. We got a couple holes to fill. I mean, no biggie. The event is not till this weekend. It's only what? Wednesday? We good? Yeah, we good. Hey, hey, I was tapping them. Let's clean out all of them. But, you know, we ready. Kinda. We're selling out. 
Y'all know I could roast him, but I ain't gonna do it to him. <laughs> On international YouTube, I'm not gonna do it to you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Got the clutch in, uh, everything's tightened up, and of course, it never ends there. So, uh, it's back running. Let me show y'all what it does. Power steering problems. Turns all nice going this way. And then we go the other way. And right before we get to full lock, it starts, it starts twerking. Still look good. Sound good. Yeah, and the Accu stump besides oh, pressure yeah. gauge on the leak, so the Accu stump is gone. But hopefully we get the parts to fix it in time. It needs a new gauge. It's leaking all over my inner cooler. It's racing. So yeah, progress continues. Man, <laughs> you want cookie? You know, inhale and drown all the lines, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a, a used rack I've been hoarding for the longest. It's finally time to use it. While we're at there, we got some updates for the uh, FDF angle kit. We got these nice ends that don't have the adjustable things. Uh, and I think it has a lock. No, no. I thought it had a lock to keep this bolt in, but at least now it's straightforward. They can come out. And we got some ISR lines to replace those janky lines. So hopefully this. Gets rid of my little steering problem we have with that guy right there. Alright, so old racks out, new racks in. And what happened, Nick? We ain't got no damn no ATF. ATF. No ATF to test it. So now we salty till tomorrow. But at least it's in there. We got those new uh, FDF uh, ends on there, man. I don't know, man. Let's see my thing, but I got. Nick, turn it. I, I, I ain't got enough energy to turn Turn it so they can see how much they're going to turn now. We're going to be doing backwards entry everywhere we go, if it ever turns. Dang! Dang! It don't want to turn? It don't want to turn. Oh. That's not good. Oh. All right, Houston, we got a problem. Damn. Damn, Nick, what you did, man? Can do this? Jeez, bro, I turned it by hand just, just now. It. Dang. All right, we gotta figure that out. Okay, all right, so I got some fluid. Nick didn't find the fluid last night because he didn't look good enough. So we actually had fluid here. We had the power steering. It works. Uh, no more unworking stuff, as you can see. Uh, we also got the intrusion bars done today. I took it over to Caveman while I was working. I figured it was a good idea to just have him do it. Um, he knocked it out real quick. He's actually also knocking out the trailer for me. Um, so the last couple of things we have left before uh, we have to go out there is the fire suppression system, which is what I'm gonna knock out tonight. I gotta change my kill switch and tires. So hopefully Sean bring us some tires up there from Chris HQ tonight. And we can get this fire suppression in. Oh yeah, and obviously install the seat, but that's easy, it's just four bolts. So, that's the plan for tonight. We're gonna try to knock that out tonight. Get this thing ready, washed up. Oh yeah, and alignment. I'll do alignment tomorrow. Um, I guess they do have uh, tech tomorrow at like five to 10. I don't know if I really wanna go tomorrow. I think I should just go Saturday morning, but it might be a good idea to go uh, tomorrow night, get it tech get that out of the way so that way Saturday we could just pull up and don't have to worry about anything. So let's get this fire suppression system in. And then this guy saving the day over here always looking me up. 
Thanks to Duarte from HQ, you know. Hey, I started showing the wrong tires. <laughs> man, I know I talk shit about some accelerators, but this is what we gonna have to run, man. We ain't got no other options, man. Get hey, man, y'all know when I park it in the wall, man, we gonna just blame it on the tires, man. I'm gonna give y'all my excuse right now. I get it out the way. Anyways, fire extinguisher system is going well. We have God, two man. in the engine bay. Man, showing them. And it goes here. I added one in case, you know, my foot catch a fire because them things going to be doing some work. And it runs around, goes up the cage, and they say you have to have one pointing directly at the driver. Then I'll run it all the way down, go into the fire extinguisher. Yeah, that's a nice location. I really like that. I think I'm going to put one of these kits in Haitian car. So all I got now left is the one going straight down into there, and then one that I got to come back and go around into the... Uh, the fuel cell area, so then we done. And then one more thing's off the list. All we're gonna have left is the, uh... oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> you, see? you see what, no. oh man. Yeah, all I have to do next is just a kill switch and then we can start polishing it up, make it look nice, alignment tomorrow, and then we should be ready to party. Quiet. Quiet. Look how big this guy get, look, 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 look. Sit, sit, sit down, sit. Oh, be a good boy. Say hi, say hi. Ah, oh, saying hi to you guys. Uh, yeah, he's a straight up lap dog now, but I love it. All right, back to work. well that's it for this video it's, it was getting kind of long and uh, you know I was running out of time so I didn't really get a good way to end it so I'll see you guys in the next video like share subscribe next video will be about how it went down at pro Am. make sure y'all tune in put that notification on too man y'all can't be missing this good stuff later